March 5th, 2021. My name is Thomas Wigan. I want to talk to you about Landmark Fire. Uh, Landmark Fire is is how you release is releasing an employee on on the in workplace grounds. But this is very important for bosses to release his uh, their employees for violated guidelines, and I will teach managers to release their employees professionally. Excuse me. So step one, you organize a staff meeting and you make all managers aware of the staff meeting. Make your managers aware, the employees aware that there will be a staff meeting. Like have it set for and the common area, such as, but do it privately. You like have a sign that says meeting in progress, for example. Oh. Oh. Number two, you'll make management aware of the staff meeting in a specific room. I already talked about that. So yes, you want to make the meeting aware and what the meeting's all about. Number three, assign, assign the date of the meeting. So. All managers are responsible for assigning the meeting dates. It's when the date will be, what time the date the meeting will take place, and what the meeting's all about. Number four, when you start the meeting, you want to stay on top topic about how the meeting like like you're talking about to finding about landmark fire. So you want to fire the your worst Fire the troubled employee. That's that's the management's responsibility. He. So, but you don't want to do that. You want to find the worst employee. He, and you want to, to take it to a private area where you're releasing them. Number five, be he respectful and you hold your, your troubled employee accountable. Oh, so therefore, if you who hold your employee accountable and to you respectful, they understand that you're being serious. Yes, yes. It may seem frustrating, but you still need to be respectful. The word, the professional on employee managers are professional. A, a professional when they. They fire the employee with respect, and that they have respect for them. Number seven, you release the employee. He and it, uh, and you do not discuss this with anyone. And at all, all oh, unless uh, you're teaching someone. And out of experience. And, but you still want to be respectful. If they if they ask to, ask, did you have to fire employees? Just say yes. Yes. And if they ask why, I and you prefer not to talk about it with them because, as it's kind of personal, it's okay to say no. Oh, because guess what? It's all part of being respectful. Number eight. Eight. You make employees aware uh, that what's going to happen, and if uh, they're being, being a tr if they're violating guidelines. So you want to make sure that they're aware, uh, and that it sends out a message to other employees that you're dead serious. Yes. And number nine, you dismiss the meeting. Like, have a good night. Have a good day. Hey. So. That's all I will have to say. T Landmark fire is when you release an employee. Hey, but you want to do this professionally. Okay. Hey, I, I got this from Mr. Taffer of Bar Rescue. Who, he taught me that, but... Uh, because I was watching Bar Rescue. But I like to learn that. And I'm willing to teach you. Okay. Hey, it's up, all up to you if you want to save your employment and to save 
save yourselves from the issues is of your employment and so please understand this so please like comment rate share and subscribe